When it comes to the Canadian content is the husband, Sarah Allen, starring in this movie, joining us on the BT Couch. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Look at you all styled up in the papers yeah, now. Yeah, slightly different, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I left my gold lame jacket at home. Oh, I was yeah. hoping you were going to bring oh, it. Oh, well, sorry. No, no. It's not really appropriate. For the weather. You right know now, I mean? right now, for Vancouver, not for breakfast. Do you know how it is on the West Coast? And we were just chatting during the break the fact that Nelson, B.C. was home to you for a long time before you went out east. Yep, I was born and raised there. Yeah? Yeah. And it's you made nice that place. you made the jump over to Toronto, which is a big deal. And this movie, the husband uh, Bruce McDonald behind it, this was a real critical darling at TIFF. A lot of hype, the Toronto International Film Festival. Tell us about the uh, the love story first, because there's a dark twist on this one. Yeah. Um, well, okay. It's it's um, what do you do when 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 someone that you love has done a very bad thing? Like, and so it's it's basically about how the husband is 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 grappling with uh, how to deal with the betrayal that his wife um, perpetrated against him mm -hmm. uh, with a 14 year old boy hey, so that's oh. sort of like that yeah yeah that's, that's when that's it gets the spicy kicker. yeah it's the spicy part yeah yeah so she's about to get out of prison and and so the whole the whole film is sort of okay. about w what happens in the two weeks before she's released from prison and how he how he deals with it and Bruce McDonald the director on this one what does Bruce do uh, very successfully as a director to connect with, with the uh, actors he works with Bruce just makes everyone feel comfortable and makes their suggestions feel kind of uh, heard and, and validated so you feel like you're a creative part of the, the the production. Yeah. Yeah. And having your movie featured in the Toronto International Film Festival, obviously outstanding. You get the exposure, Whistler Film Fest as well. Yeah. What is it like on the Canadian landscape? We hear the ups and downs of how challenging it is. Many actors choose to go south to make their acting careers. Mm -hmm. But you've, you know, you had the pleasure of working on several productions here in Canada. Yeah, I've been really, really lucky. Um, but yeah, even even I've spent time in LA. Um, just I, I think. Uh, you, you, you get desperate and then you you go down there yeah and fortunately fortunately things especially for television seem to be getting better in Canada but uh, but but I, I yeah we, we could use some help yeah. <laughs> on the film department for sure what was yeah. the uh, the breakout project for you to really get noticed because it looks like 2014 is going to be an important year for you uh, the breakout project I, um, I, I've kind of been working steadily for the last 10 years um, I don't know uh, but not being noticed <laughs> So I, I don't feel like there's really been a breakout so much as a like, like like I snuck into the room yeah. quietly and then just was there. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, I was on Being Human. Um, Remedy right now is playing. It's a big big deal. Great project. Uh, Nineteen Dash Two is also playing on TV. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is it nerve wracking for you as a performer? Because I know tomorrow night you're going to do a Q and A at the screening of your movie to be in the theater and it's like yeah. okay, it's one thing to watch your work and critique it and then watch it with everybody. That's got to be kind of boring. Yeah, it is. Um, I find that it's before, like the, the the hour before the film starts is the worst for me. I, I turn into like a like a nut a nut bag. Uh -oh. I, yeah, I I can't speak and I sweat profusely and yeah. then yeah. Uh, when the, when the show was playing in Nelson, um, which is my hometown, I shouldn't have been that nervous. But um, yeah, I, they wanted me to introduce the film before it, and I couldn't speak. And there was like a light on the stage, and I stood outside the light and sort of like like shuffled, and it was really terrible. Apparently, like a terrible introduction. Uh oh. To my own film. But once the film was over and and it was it was fine, I was able to ask answer questions and all that. And you're gonna do that tomorrow night, and uh, our very own Thor Dyko joining to help moderate yeah. the discussion. Yep. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. Okay, we're going to put those details on our Facebook page so you can check it out. Congratulations to you. Thank you. The husband out in theaters this weekend. Go out there, support the uh, Canadian content. And uh, one final check-in with Don Chubay. She's getting into gardening now that it's spring season.